Hello, this is Jeff Craven with the National Weather Service Office in Milwaukee, Sullivan, with an update on the potential for severe weather very late tonight and tomorrow across southern Wisconsin. We're looking at a visible satellite image late this afternoon. Here is uh, southern Wisconsin. And across the eastern parts of Wyoming and Montana, thunderstorms are beginning to develop. These storms will eventually cross South Dakota, southern Minnesota and Iowa and reach southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois sometime on Wednesday. Here is a combination of the current radar image across the same area and also some parameters in the atmosphere that tell us whether damaging winds are favorable. Here are the storms across parts of southeast Montana and northeast Wyoming. They will be moving out into South Dakota during the evening and conditions from South Dakota into Iowa are currently favorable for damaging wind gusts. Here is one of our computer models that simulates what the radar image might look like over the next uh, several hours, in fact, until about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is the current radar simulation showing some storms across northeast Wyoming. As we move forward through time, here is 7 p.m., 10 p.m., midnight, Here is 4 a.m. and finally 7 a.m. Several models are simulating that storms coming out of Wyoming will cross South Dakota during the night and by early morning will be along the Minnesota and Iowa border in the form of a bow echo which is favorable for producing damaging wind gusts. Looking at past events where we've had significant damaging wind events, uh, sometimes known as derechos, for these eastward moving events, it is very common when southern Wisconsin is affected for these storms to form somewhere late at night in the South Dakota area and along the Minnesota-Iowa border in the very early morning daybreak hours and then move across southern Wisconsin uh, during the late morning or early afternoon. Now, in these situations, it's possible for the storms to track just a few counties north or south, could easily cross Iowa and northern Illinois, just brushing southern Wisconsin. But it does appear the conditions are very favorable for a swath of damaging winds sometime on Wednesday over southern Wisconsin or nearby over northern Illinois. Thanks for listening.